we've got then from unknown character 14 to change mm. to a sort of positive topic i mean yeah man thank god sometimes yeah. you really do need mm. the need the good shit uh do you plan on doing a wild lore podcast <laughs> Uh, do We've we? definitely not already recorded 85% of episode one of that, but the thing there is, yeah. um, currently there's a bunch where we're, uh, and this is the sort of thing we're going to have a proper announcement that walks into all of yes. this. Uh, we are going to be doing a multi-phase uh, build, rebuild, basically, of mm. us as an organization, and that means what is our content, who do we make it for? And for us, a key pillar of that is the concept of a thousand true fans. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say there, I dislike the word fan. I yeah. never really want somebody to be a fan. Uh, mm -hmm. For me, it's far more about the work and the craft and people liking that. Um, yeah, but yeah. that thing aside. Yeah, you want them to be a customer more so than a fan, someone who shows up for the, for the value. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't like it feeling that transactional, but it's okay, like yeah, 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 fair, wanting fair. to... You know, wanting it to not just be some sort of thing that's totally relying on a parasocial relationship yes. and stuff like that. Um, where, I mean, hopefully that comes through in the way that we, you know, talk with everybody and, like, do this. Yeah, you know? yeah. Be, um, <laughs> the, way, the way I see it is, you know, we, we, we're trying to make a good product. People show up. Good product. We offer a good product with a smile. They smile back. That's it. Happy days. Al yeah. Almost like having a nice corner store you go to because they do good bread, I think. Something like that's what that's how I kind of imagined it. We were like, yeah. this is all a pleasant, happy interaction, and there's good stuff for a reasonable, you know, cost, whatever else. Yeah, it's fine. It's yeah, fine. that's Sounds. basically in, in entirely. I mm -hmm. mean, yeah, fans. I would, yeah, people being fans of the work. Yes. Big, big. Yes. Yeah. That's, and I, that's I think, yeah, it's. I always just. I don't know. But that said, I'm also a big, big fucking introvert. So. Mm. All of that stuff is uh, genuinely, by default, uncomfortable to me. <laughs> yeah. um, so, well, our podcast, uh, to, to go there, we're doing a multi-phase rebuild of what mm. we are. And I say multi-phase because you only do so many things at once, and we have yeah. to prioritize them. Thing number one for us is Patreon. Yep. Uh, and essentially, we view that as building a foundation. Mm. Uh, because the bigger goal of all of this is... Look, we don't want to be chasing the news cycle all the time. We genuinely do not like clickbait. And, you know, the, the chasing the stuff and finding the... I mean, as an example, you know, we've got our, our big video on Warcraft 3 Reforged, the, the whole thing. It's like a long video. We have our one on the emergence and propagation of DLC throughout gaming. We've got our one that's basically the life and times of Bobby Kotick. Fucking fascinating script. Uh... That's content that, like, you cannot do based on the algorithm because the algorithm does not reward that, sadly. Um, so that is why we are really going to be focusing um, at least the initial part of the big rebuild on, on Patreon and stuff. Of course, we need to ensure that we do everything in a fair and reasonable way, you know, all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, so what we want to do is to create that content that to us like it's not the most clickbaity thing it doesn't have to be inspired by the latest you know this is going to change the game forever this changes everything massive implications but you know content where you feel more like a craftsman when you're making it mm. uh, so initially that's going to kick off on patreon within like a week or two and uh yeah a lore podcast is a part of that there will be uh, more stuff as time goes on and shortly after that uh, because I do want to talk about just a little bit of um, you know what that means for the channel. So it's the sort of thing where, because uh, you've got to remember, we have eight people on our YouTube team. So, you know, obviously the numbers have to work there or else people don't uh, have a job. Obviously, we have to ensure people have got a job. Uh, so and that's why we need to focus on, um, you know, getting our fundamentals right, because what I want to be able to do, this is the core bit, I want to be able to work on series and stuff like that that we're all super passionate on where we're making incredible, really cool shit. And there's times right now when you are super dependent on getting high performing videos and, you know, and stuff like that, where, you know, honestly, it would be nice to not have to do the weekly WoW news in the way that we do it. I'd rather that all of that time and effort yeah, because like Dakor works on that right now. Well, I would rather that Dakor would be able to work on nerdy high-end guide shit that he's really good at. Uh, I mean, he's really good at the WoW news, but like, you know, the the stuff that he brings to the table is super unique. Um, yeah, I, if, if that time wasn't going to the WoW news, it could be going into that, and that could be of so much value to people. And, you know, 
it would mean we'd have more time to do stuff like the really big lore videos. And I mean lore videos that you guys haven't seen before. The we've, We're going to have one coming out soon. You've never seen anything like it covering World of Warcraft, I think. Uh, now, there's other people doing incredible lore content and stuff like that. It's absolutely awesome. But what's going on there, uh, you know, it's just some of the style and the way we're doing it, I think is genuinely new and innovative. Uh, but the thing is, I know that it's going to it's going to lose us money based on its YouTube ad income. So that's why phase one for us of things is rebuilding, um, uh, you know, focusing on essentially the Patreon member stuff, creating the most awesome stuff for them and allowing that to be a bit of a safe test bed. Because the other thing is if you put a video out on YouTube and it bombs, it'll actually knock down the performance of your next few videos and that stuff sucks. Um, but hey, you're on YouTube, you're a slave to a goddamn algorithm. So that's what's going on. There will be a lore podcast as a part of that. Um, and uh, I mean, we'll, we'll see how we you know, fully deploy everything there. But yeah. actually, Matt's done some really nice audio design on it so far. It's been fun. Yeah, no, it's just, I'm, I'm actually really, really excited for people to get to hear it at some point in time. Yeah. Soon, definitely soon, if we could just sit down and fucking finish it. <laughs> yeah, so like, there's big things. Now, in my head, what we have, uh, what we're going to have in the future is awesome, super premium feeling. Uh, I say feeling there because, you know, I, I, I don't want the content to just feel like cheap stuff that's turned out. Mm. Almost everything I want us to be doing is, you know, either nice, cozy, conversational stuff like what we're doing today or stuff that, you know, you see it in your sub feed and you think, oh, fuck yeah, the next episode of that is out. It's time to go and watch it. I can't wait. That's the sort of content I want to move us towards as an organization. Because I think for everybody who works here, it would be way more satisfying to work on anyway. Um, I mean, certainly John's been able to do a little bit of that with some of the more recent lore videos. And, uh, I mean, he's had a great time. He's had a blast. Yeah. Uh, the, the big video Nicky's working on um, prior to the one that he's working on was today. I mean, wow. Yeah. Everyone I've showed <laughs> that to has been like big, big, big thumbs up. Um, and that's including, you know, a lot of people. So, yeah, yeah somebody said Internet of Story level content. Um, we, uh, you know, have something in the pipeline started off a year ago, actually, but we haven't been able to take it to completion. But there is one script. I just need to go and I need to nail the VO first. Uh, I think it would be a great fit for John's editing style. Uh, I think John oh. could have us all roaring laughing. I, I, every time I'm reminded that script sitting in the back, I'm like, I cannot wait to see what he does. Especially after seeing what he did within his off video, and then with that, um, with that Alun one that came out yesterday. Yeah, I, I remember just watching, like, fuck nice. I can't, I can't wait to see more of that. <laughs> once it's what once it's reasonable for us to do so, it's gonna be banging, yeah. Like, it'll be banging. Uh, Marek says internet story and level. Let's just say there's some cool stories to tell in WoW that do not uh, really work with a big dramatic slow voice uh, because it's fucking hilarious and can capture some of the i mean i remember watching the funeral raid video and thinking mm. even though it's obviously horrible but like come on scatman john's being edited in and you're just roaring laughing at this crazy thing going on in this open world even though it's a horrible event it's like wow this is happening yeah. that's a story i want to tell in a way that really does it justice yeah, that's that, that's where i think the internet historian comparison is maybe not in like the how the content is edited or how it's produced or anything like that it's just the kind of the idea of this is a really cool story like when you watch it you're watching history unfold mm. as it happens you're like this is actually a this is a huge event i mean obviously this is more like world of warcraft focused so it's like a massive cultural event in world of warcraft but it's like man it's it's really cool and there's so many there's so many cool ways we can do it in that like inspired by that kind of coverage it's just like this the videos you'll download and put in an archive because you know it'll be a great entertaining way to yeah. tell someone a story in the future that's the hope yeah in the way that i have watched internet historian videos multiple times i want people to be able to do that for that series yeah and you know for the lore series that we've got which should be out within a month should be yeah um it should. i want those videos to be like just it's like you want to know this story there's the place Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, not just know it because it's been told to you, but feel it. That's that's the goal. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for that question. We have a lot of big plans. Uh, you know, the way that we have to get there first is by solidifying the foundations of our organization, and that is hello, Bapis. Uh, <laughs> and that yep. is uh, that is initially on Patreon, and then we will expand things out past that. Um, and I, I think, yeah, it's that thing. I wish I could tell you everything I, I want us to be able to do, but I don't want to sell anyone down the river. 
Yeah. So yeah. that's uh, that's how it's going. There'll be awesome stuff. Yep. Um, possibly also you did say possibly have a guest like Noble in the future. PSJ is a dreadlord. She absolutely is. And uh, you know what? Yeah. Any time I've met Noble IRL, we've had a, a nice old time together. Uh, so certainly. You know, as, as we're developing things like, say, this show, I mean, if this is vaguely looking rogany, then it would make sense the odd time to have a guest, wouldn't it? There could be some cool stuff we could do in the future. Who knows? Absolutely. 